If you look long enough into the void, the void begins to look back through you. Friedrich Nietzsche. Hello, dear friends. In this video, we would like to tell you about one of the most terrifying regions in the entire universe, the Bottiz Void. Today, you will learn about the emptiest place in the observable universe, what might be found there, and how this place could serve as evidence of intelligent life. Before we begin, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be the first to see our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of the universe. When you look at the night sky, it may seem like stars are scattered infinitely throughout space uniformly. However, that's not the case. Stars are clustered into galaxies and galaxies group together, forming interconnected clusters in general, neighboring galaxies are relatively close to each other with voids of not very large spaces in between. But there's one unique case known as the Bortiz Void. This region was discovered in 1981 by the astronomer Robert Kirchner and his team. The Bortiz Void is sometimes referred to as the Great Void. It's an enormous spherical region of space with very few galaxies in it. It's located approximately 700 million light-years away from Earth in the direction of the Botez constellation, from which it got its name. This supervoid has a diameter of 330 million light-years, which, in turn, is equivalent to 0.27% of the diameter of the entire observable universe, which is about 93 billion light-years. In other words, it's the largest known void in the universe. Shortly after the discovery of the Botea's void, astronomers began to notice how unique this area was. Initially, they could only find eight galaxies within it, but further observations helped uncover an additional 52 galaxies in this vast region with a diameter of a quarter of a billion light-years. According to the astronomer Greg Aldering, if the Milky Way were at the center of the Botea's void, we would have only discovered the existence of other galaxies in the 1960s. In comparison, our own Milky Way has about two dozen neighbors within a region spanning only three million light-years across. Given that the average distance between galaxies in the universe is several million light-years, in a vast expanse like the Botia's Void, one would expect to find around 10,000 galaxies at a similar density. The nature of this void raises intriguing questions. Visitors to this region would undoubtedly be staggered by the isolation, considering the extreme distances between galaxies and the view of the deep cosmos, which would appear darker than black. Furthermore, the Botia's void is likely the most perfect vacuum in space, and its effects are worth noting. Not only would rocks and dust be rare in this vast emptiness, but various particles would also be scarce. In such a massive void, the interactions between particles could take ages, if they are even possible. The extremely low density of matter in this cosmic region means that if a small mass structure like a neutrino were to enter it, it would look virtually the same on the way out hundreds of millions of years later. The same goes for photons. Particles with much greater mass would naturally be drawn toward the void's edges. Because of this conservation of state, the Bottiz void can be considered an ideal time capsule. Naturally, scientists are eager to understand how such an anomalous space could have formed. Computer models suggest that smaller voids, which are far more common, form after galaxies come close together due to gravitational interaction. When neighboring regions become voids, this process intensifies and the area expands However, this does not explain the existence of the Bottiz void. Not enough time has passed since the birth of the universe for gravitational forces to clear a space of this magnitude. Attempts to find an explanation for this remarkable phenomenon have led to the development of a new theory, suggesting that supervoids form as a result of the merging of smaller voids. Astronomer Aldering once noticed that galaxies in voids take on interesting tubular structures, which appears to be a crucial clue. Galaxies of this shape are likely remnants of boundaries between smaller voids. This suggests that the Bottiz void may have formed after the merger of smaller voids, similar to how small soap bubbles merge into a larger one. 
There's also a more radical theory, which has barely been considered in the scientific literature. The Bautiz void could have formed as a result of the expansion of an intelligent civilization. In other words, somewhere in the heart of the great void, intelligent beings reside. They gradually extend their influence to neighboring planets, stars, and even galaxies, concealing them from outsiders. In the theory of extraterrestrial life, there is a classification of different hypothetical civilizations. We Earthlings belong to the first type. We exist based on the resources of our own planet. Civilizations of the second type use the energy of their parent star. As for the third type, they extract energy from the entire galaxy. Regarding the Bautiz void, it's entirely possible that the civilization inhabiting that region is absorbing stars and galaxies, converting their energy. We just can't see what they're using it for. Given that the Botea's void is located approximately 700 million light-years from Earth, and intelligent life in the universe could have emerged around 4 billion years ago, such an ancient civilization would have had ample time for remarkable cosmic engineering. Interestingly, the spherical shape of the Bote's void lends some support to this theory. Yes, this is purely speculative, but considering the peculiarity of the phenomenon itself, such a hypothesis can also be considered. In any case, the discovery of the supervoid has had a profound impact on traditional cosmological thinking. Since then, astronomers have repeatedly re-evaluated their understanding of galaxy formation, given the highly uneven distribution of matter in the universe. Ultimately, the Bote's void serves as a modest reminder of the boundlessness of space. The universe we see is incredibly vast beyond our comprehension, and our place in it is astonishingly small and insignificant, a microscopic flash in vast expanse. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel feel free to write your suggestions in the comments about what you'd like to see in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.